Aphrodite is the goddess of beauty and love, and I think sometimes people forget that she is also the goddess of war as well, which is a less common known fact. Aphrodite is a goddess who encourages the people that she works with to go through a self-love journey, saying that, you know, going through a period of empowerment, encouraging you to see your worth. However, it is known for Aphrodite that if you disrespect her beauty by comparing yourself or your friends or other people to her and her beauty, or saying that people are just as pretty as Aphrodite, she has been known to take away or curse or hex whatever those people um, and take away their beauty. Now, working with Aphrodite, you might want to call on her if you are having troubles with self-love, feeling disempowered, and other kind of things to do with the heart chakra. Working with Aphrodite, offerings to her would be things like aphrodisiacs, so things like roses, jasmine, as well as other aphrodisiac foods like sweets, dark chocolate, wines, but you could also offer her things to do with the ocean as she was born in the ocean. So things like seashells and, you know, um, ocean water, if that is something that you work with, anything that's tied to the beach. Crystals that are good for her are rose quartz, which is a very popular crystal for Aphrodite, as well as amethyst, aquamarine, and jade, and sometimes a blue sapphire. Aphrodite is known through her tarot cards, represented as mainly the empress, but I think she is also represented as the lovers, the star, and the moon, as that correlates to her very nurturing feminine energy. Animals that may appear as omens of Aphrodite are sparrows, bees, and the dove. Colors are pink, red, white, and any other shade of white or light blue that correlates to the ocean. And other offerings to her are things like incense um, and other sweet-smelling perfumes. Now, when you offer her a thing like a perfume, you cannot take that back. Aphrodite is very particular about her offerings, and once you offer that to her, that is not for you to take back at any point, unless she leaves. But still, always be respectful with Aphrodite, as she is a goddess who is very proud of her work and the things that she does. Aphrodite is a goddess who doesn't really like to mess around with things. You need to have a clear intention on what it is that you need to do. And there's a large misconception that when you're working with Aphrodite, she's going to bring you, you know, your twin flame or your soulmate. But that's not necessarily the case because Aphrodite, although being a goddess of love, encourages more that of that love through self-empowerment. So it's not necessarily true that you are going to get a relationship, especially right away. She may bring that to you, but she will only bring you your counterpart unless you have shown that you have worked through your journey towards self-empowerment and self-love. If you are not able to have an altar space set up for her, Aphrodite, more importantly, appreciates acts of working on self-care. So this could be things like having a new skincare regimen that you're setting up. And skincare is for everybody. It doesn't matter if you are a boy or a girl or whatever. Things like taking care of your skin, having a bath, buying yourself a nice bath bomb and, you know sitting in the bath for 20 minutes, anything that is going to help you find a little bit more peace in your everyday life are going to be things that she greatly appreciates because after all, you you know that like cheesy corny saying of if you can't love yourself, how are you going to love somebody else? That's kind of her way of looking at things and Aphrodite will encourage you to be the best person that you can be and things that are less self-care related that are very heavily influenced by Aphrodite is that how to feed that more nurturing energy and being respectful towards other people or being less reactionary when other people are trying to get a rise out of you. Aphrodite does not like to see you um, go through conflict or go through a period of arguing and things like that. So 
It's anything that can help you towards your journey of being kind of like carefree in the sense that you don't really care what other people think because that was something that Aphrodite in her myths had to, um, or in her lore, had to endure was not caring about what other people thought of her. So that is, uh, that is some things that you can learn through working with Aphrodite and some of the offerings and I hope this was helpful to you in your journey with working with her.